Tonight, the search for answers is just beginning into what caused that plane to crash at the Mid-Continent Airport in Wichita. Now, here's what we know. At least four people were killed, including the pilot. The small plane lost power shortly after takeoff, and five other people have been injured. One is in serious condition. People in Wichita say they could hear the crash on the other side of the city. And as I was coming out of the post office, I heard a loud crash. It didn't sound like a real crash, like somebody had dropped pots and pans. It was a big, loud, very loud, muffled crash. Officials say there were close to 100 people, employees, and visitors inside the building at the time of the crash. Right now, conditions remain dangerous on the ground around that building as crews try to survey all the damage. KBC 9's Eli Rosenberg is live in Wichita with the developing information. Eli? Well, guys, since five, you can see that we've been moved back considerably. That's because there is a real fear here on the ground that that building could collapse at any minute. Let's show you the scene right here, and you can see the building in question there on the right of your screen. You can see firefighters still here on the scene. You see how that ladder truck is kind of over the lower portion of the building. That is because ever since an engineer said about an hour ago that this building is structurally very unsafe, firefighters have been taking extra precautions. Now, the aviation community here is very tight knit, so this tragedy. It's really hitting a lot of people here on the ground. I just talked with one witness who works here at the airport. He says the crash this morning was so loud, it shook everything. And then there was this huge fireball. You can see exactly what we're talking about in this video. Now, according to the FAA, the pilot lost power to an engine shortly after takeoff and was trying to return to the airport when the crash happened. Uh, what's some of the reasoning that leads you to believe that this is an accident? Just from the uh, witness interviews, we've had detectives out here. We've done a lot of in, uh, interviews with witnesses out here and some other things that uh, we know. I'm not going to get into a lot of the details right now, but uh, that's where uh, we're comfortable in saying that at this point. Firefighters are continuing to assess damage here, and I'm told they will be here for most of the night. And as for this investigation, investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board, also en route to here in Wichita, I'm told they're expected to be here within the hour. Live in Wichita, Eli Rosenberg, KMBC 9 News.